All right, guys, welcome to another tutorial here. In this tutorial here, I want to talk about creating hex colors in Unity here. And of course, what you could do, well, let's take a back step. Hex is another way to express a certain color. If you just go to Google and type in hex color picker, hex color picker, um, this is very popular with front end development, things like web pages, um, even like Photoshop or uh, Illustrator here. So sometimes you have a color that maybe a client gives you or somebody gives you here. You want to recreate that through Unity. Now, of course, you could go through and find the hex and then convert that to RGB. That's one way to do it. But there's another way to do it. It's a little more programmatic a little smarter too if you're trying to get information coming in right to do it kind of automatically if that makes sense so let's take this uh it doesn't really matter let's take this hex value right here we have 11 ff 0 hex means six right there so that's why we have six digits right there if we go back to unity let's talk about what we have set up what what i have set up so far here just so you guys can follow along so we have just a button living on canvas and that's basically it here we have a script but the script is completely blank from here if we go to our button here we're going to change this the, the the color of this button at runtime of course you could apply this to any number of things you could apply to text you could apply it to a player you could apply it to some type of ui element doesn't really matter from here if you go to color from here, we can also say we have the hexadecimal right here too, okay? But if I change this here, we can see that the RGB values change also, okay? So the question is, how do I take a hex and how do I convert it to an RGB? Well, I could just paste in here, but if I want to do it via script here, it needs to be a little bit different, all right? So let's go ahead and go back there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up my script from here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say using, oops, suing, using Unity UI, okay? And let's go ahead and make a public uh, button and we'll call it lowercase button. Again, button is the variable type and lowercase p button is the name of that variable here. Now we're also going to say color and then color one from here, okay? Let's go ahead and hook up a start method. I'm going to start to type in start and hit tab so that it auto completes from there, okay? Pretty simple so far. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to say uh, color utility. And this is where the magic really happens here. Color utility dot and we're going to say try parse HTML string here. Now this is going to take in two arguments from here. The first is going to be the hex. Um, let's go ahead and paste that in there in a second here. And the second one is going to be where to output that color to. So we're going to say out color one. All right. And let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of space here. And then we're going to say button dot get component. Just get component here. And we're going to say image because we're accessing the image component. And then we're going to say color. And this is going to be equal to color one. Okay. Now the only other thing we need here is our, let's see if I still have my clipboard. Our hex color okay and let's go ahead and save this here we have a little error there that might need double quotes from there let's try it with double quotes and we have double quotes going on there there we go cool all right let's go ahead and save this from here let's go back to our actually real quick here this confused me a little bit first here so just a quick overview here we have the element excuse me the object here we're getting a component on the object here and we're accessing an attribute of that component from there so visually on the unity side of it it looks like we're accessing the component right here the image component and we're accessing this attribute of that image component from there okay the only thing we need to do here is we need to attach the script on the sun in scene here and then give it the button that's looking for drag that in right there okay let's go ahead and save this here and let's go ahead and hit play and if everything works it should turn into green cool so now you can see that button change the green from there okay and again the real magic what this all kind of boils down to is this line of code right there try parse color utility dot try try parse html string here we pass in the color and then we give it something to output the color to okay so guys great job in this video if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give me a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you guys want to see more if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to check my udemy courses links are in the descriptions down below you guys do great i hope you guys have a great day